Hi, I am Ravi here. Today I hope to bring you an another home fix video. This is my home use LG Fuzzy Logic washing machine. I have been using it for 11 years now. Very good machine, really no big burden at all. Last night I put some laundry in, but when I checked today morning, machine has stopped to function in and remain with the water in the rinse function. So I removed the clothes. You can see still dirty soapy water in the tub. I am trying to drain it by selecting the spin function manually. But look, not helpful and no draining at all. Seems to be a drain problem. Waiting and waiting, but no draining. So. Let's check rinse and other functions are working. I select manually rinse function here with small water level. Water intake is functioning. Sorry, it was large level. Pause it and I select it for small level. However, still undrained water is in the tub. Okay, it start to rinse. Look there is an abnormality. Base plate is rotating fast, but drum has a slow motion like it has been born. Sorry, it was a door error. Close the door and check. Okay, start to rinse. But look closer, base plate spinning fast, but drum is slower than usual. In normal operation, drum is swing both sides a bit more faster. Ok, I am going to select only spin function manually and try to drain water again. Nothing happened, but for sure we have a drain motor problem. How can I say exactly like that? The main problem is no draining. And same time you saw that it took water in and also tried to rinse, but drum is not moving fast. It looked like a brake bind. So there is a brake system on modern washing machine to control spinning gears. That brake system controlled by the drain motor. It handled two functions, open the drain valve and release the brake lever. Here we had clear symptoms that drum spinning really slow. That might be due to brake bind as drain motor not working properly. To verify that, we have to remove the back cover and visual inspect the drain motor operation. So I will undo the back cover off camera and let's see. So I removed the back cover and now I am going to play the spin function to see any movement of the drain motor operation. Ok, here is the drain motor. Hope you can hear noise from it. But no any movement of the drain valve lever at right side of the motor. Lever is in valve closed position but it should go to open position. Ok, let's check the drain motor. For that we have to unbolt it from the system. Here is the power supply connection. Remove it first. To unbolt this motor, best way is roll over the machine onto the side. But I am ok to do it like this. There are three bolts to remove. I use 10 mm socket and the ratchet here.
Okay, unbolted. Now simply remove this lever from the bracket. Not a big deal. Okay, let's go to the bench and check the drain motor. We can do it in two ways. Number one is resistance check between pins. And number two is directly power supply into the motor and check how it works. Okay, we check the resistance first. Tune your multimeter into ohm settings and select 20 kilo ohms. Check the resistance between middle pin and left first and then middle and right pin. Both sides should have a reading. In this motor 7 kilo ohms indicate on left pin but no reading on right pin which is not good. Check the resistance by moving the lever inward and outward too. But you can see here no any reading on the right side pin. Ok, I am going to supply the power directly to the motor and check. I have arranged two wires to get the power from wall connection. Orange wire goes to the face and blue wire goes to the neutral. If you do it, be carefully, 220 volts wall line is dangerous. It could be deadly serious. Provide the face into the middle pin and connect the neutral line for both left and right pins. I made a wire loop on blue wire to get two connections. I warn you again that safety is your own risk. Ok, pull the lever out and then plug the wall connector and switch it on. You can see liver moving in as it should be. But there is a problem. You can hear motor is working even after liver has gone all the way in. Normally it should stop and lock the liver inside. Look, I can pull the liver out manually which should not be until turn off the power. This is a faulty drain motor. Ok, I bought a new drain motor. It cost $5 about. Both are Chinese made. Ok, let's check the resistance on new motor and compare it with the bad one. First, I check middle and right pins. It indicates 10 kilo ohms above. Let's check middle and left pin. No reading. Pull the lever out and try. But no readings. Right side is ok. Is it a bad motor?
Just pull the lever halfway out and try. Now you can see 6 kilo ohms around at left side. Both sides shows resistance as it should be. Ok, let's try same way on this bad motor. First, pull the lever halfway out and measure. It is same only left side has resistance, no at right side. Confirmed bad drain motor. Ok, let's try new motor by supplying power. Same way, connect the wire into the pins. Face into the middle pin and neutral into the left and right pins. Ok, pull the lever out and turn on the wall connection. You can see lever is moving in. Ok, you heard the click and motor stop. If you try to manually pull the lever out, it will not let you to do so. It is locked. You have to turn off the power first and pull the lever. This is a properly worked drain motor. Ok, let's install it into the machine. Ok, simply mount the drain motor and its lever into the assembly. Just tight those three bolts gently. Ok, after rebolted the drain motor, just plug the power supply connector. Ok, now let's check all the functions work properly. I select the quick wash function with small water level and then play to start. Water intake started. Close the door and look for the rinse function. Look, it was started to rinse. Now you can see drum also swing both sides freely. So water intake and rinse work fine. Let's see spin mode.
Okay, I select the spin function manually here. Look here, drain motor operate properly. It pulls the lever to release the brake and open the drain valve too. Okay, water drain properly. Waiting for the spin function. It start to spin, all the functions work normally. Thank you for watching, stay subscribed with us.